Aliens can give you enough stuff to sustain, you know, your whole character. Now let's go ahead and dive into that rune system now that we have all our runes. Um, so now we have 28,000 runes, you guys. I'm going to go ahead. All runes on the current page must be level 1 to jump to the next page. So I'm going to go ahead and auto imprint here. Um, so it takes 50 runes for that first slot. It's taking money. We are having a success rate, which is continually going down for each successful imprint. We're now down to 90%. Failed to imprint there at 91%, you guys. So there we go. Level 1 rune is unlocked. Let's go ahead and go to page 2 and start to continue this auto imprint. So this one's going to be increasing our MP, our HP. Roland is asking, how do I know if you're live from TwitchCon if you don't even have a face cam? Um, I can turn on the face cam if you guys really want. Uh, I'm trying to do a YouTube series that I'm going to add this all to. And I don't I don't really want my face to be there. I'd rather I'd rather just have, um, you know, the actual knowledge and the gameplay experience. Let me see if I can continue to auto imprint. So you actually can level up the runes per page. So here we go. Auto imprinting is once again just bouncing around, leveling up random runes for me. Now, it looks like the max rank for each rune is going to be seven stars. And now that we're at two stars, we're already at an 82% success ratio. Uh, yeah, so that is now a level two core. So let's go back here. Let's see if we can't get some of these maybe to level seven. Maybe max rank some of these beginning runes and see just how much of an increase we're going to see. Dread is not here at TwitchCon. Dread did not want to buy a ticket to, Dread, uh, to TwitchCon. I've been coming every day by myself. Which has been a pretty good experience on its own, although, you know, obviously I wish I, I would have uh, let Dread come with. But I have met a lot of people. I did manage to get sponsored by Turtle Beach. I have um, a possible sponsorship coming up with Madrinus and Net Marble. So it's been a very successful social experience for me here at TwitchCon. I did uh, get to play uh, the Castle Sieges with Bajira and uh, a couple other big name streamers. So that was really fun. I did meet Tangent as well yesterday and today at the Madrinus booth. This game is new, Roland. It will be releasing officially on November 15th for the United States. This is a MMORPG with 50v50 castle sieges, open world PvP, dungeons, pets, mounts, just so much shit going on with this game, dude. It's really impressive. So now as we level up these runes, it's obviously getting exponentially more expensive um, for each imprint. Failed to imprint there at 70, so we lost 160 runes and 2,000 money. So you see we are getting lower and lower chances, but uh, each time we level up our core rune, um, it's also increasing our overall combat level. So we are going to try to just go ahead and max all these out at 7 just for the knowledge and the science. Failing here a couple times at 65%, several times, they're just eating through my runes. Now, all those runes that I got were from just today's Tower of Insolence, full clear from 1 to 60, plus my auto clear 1 to 60. So every day henceforward, if this was my main account and my actual character, I would be able to auto clear every day to get all of those rewards again, which is less than your first time clearance reward, but it's still a lot. I'm, I'm guessing it's probably half of what I got. So you will probably be getting about 10,000 runes per day for free just from that auto clear. So as you can see here, going from uh, level 6 to 7 has a less than 50% chance of imprinting. And I don't see any way to improve it. So a lot of the things I've been running into are very, very good looking for us free-to-play players and the casual player. It looks like everything in the game is gated. Uh, even for the, the, the red diamonds, man. Like, a lot of the red diamond stuff could only be done maybe twice per day. And, you know, some of that only costed 20 to 100 or 200 red diamonds so even the players who want to pay red diamonds are going to be gated in the amount of things they can do every day so there we have you guys we did get all of those runes to level seven including our core um i'm curious how many how many pages of runes there are so rather than maxing out page two i'm just going to continue here um just imprinting as we go so that way we can see just how many pages of runes there'll be Yeah, Roland, I was so happy, man. I, I just happened to run into the product manager for Total Beach outside of the Corsair booth. And I was uh, talking to Corsair and AK Racing, not about sponsorships, just about their products. And um, I didn't even know who he was. I thought he was a streamer or something. And he was asking me about what equipment I use. And I told him I just bought that, uh, you know, that new Razer Manowar headset. And I liked it, but it was picking up a lot of noise from my keyboard. 
which I've had a lot of people so far say that my keyboard clicks are very, you know, everybody can hear it through my uh, my Razer. And so he actually hooked me up with a Turtle Beach uh, brand new headset and a brand new streaming mic. And then he said he would tune in. And uh, if it looks like, um, you know, obviously for every sponsorship, you have to do some sort of trade back and forth. So, you know, I'll advertise through my bot turtle beach and plus i'll be wearing the headset and using the mic and hopefully it's great quality and you know it'll be something you guys and other streamers are interested in um and then it'll become a working relationship so you know as an affiliate i i feel very proud to have been sponsored by turtle beach even in that limited capacity of uh you know that that free stuff right there so here we go to page five i'm really really curious how many uh, rune pages there are you do see each new page of rune has successfully more and more rune slots and then it's actually giving me more and more stats per page. So rather than maxing out just page one, it'll probably be the most beneficial to unlock every page of runes and then go through it tier by tier by tier, you know, getting rank two with every single rune, then rank three with every single rune, rather than just straight rushing max with one rune set. Roland sent me. This is sick. Happy for you, bro. So uh, thank you so much, dude. Pleasure to hear from you. Yeah, DNA, unfortunately, I'm not using a Turtle Beach headset. I'm, I'm not at home. I am actually at TwitchCon. Um, I could turn the mic on for a little bit if you guys really want to see TwitchCon. Um, I do have a huge line of people around me. They are uh, reassembling right now for this clan dungeon run. There is uh, 60 people that are about to do two different clan dungeon runs here with their team captains. Um, I was going to do that, but I think instead I'm just going to keep streaming. I'm having a really good run here with this stream. And I'm getting a lot of very useful knowledge for the game uh, that I'm really interested in. So I will just keep streaming. I, I do want to dive into some other features later. I want to see just how far we can get in the arena by using these. Uh, you see at the top, I do have 440 red diamonds that I've earned just from playing today. Um, and then obviously that'll go up at resets. I'll get some sort of Tower of Insolence red diamond bonus for you know maxing out i'll get my arena rank bonus uh, my daily dungeon bonuses so all those things that reset which looked like it was 4 a.m i don't know if that was specific or central or what kind of time period that was but that 4 a.m reset does offer you a chance to get a lot of um you know it'll reset all your tickets for the arena it'll reset your dailies it'll reset um it'll give you all your red diamonds from your rankings uh, it'll reset your your availability to buy more things with red diamonds, which, as we saw earlier, was gated. So we did get that one free daily dungeon entrance, which I don't know if that was gated for each difficulty or if you only get one attempt per dungeon per day, or I'm not sure. I'll have to dive into that a little bit later. But you saw that we did only have the option to buy two more uh, dungeon passes, and it looked like 100 or 200 uh, red diamonds each. So... Even I really enjoy that seeing that even people who are willing to drop unlimited amounts of money are going to be very gated in this game. They do have the option from the store to buy things like in game money, but even your in game money, like how much use do you have for that? You see here, we need these runes, and you saw for our gear, we actually needed specific pieces of gear that were clones of ours in order to eat that to gain more and more levels. So you're not just going to be able to pay to win in this game at all. Um, I do think the combat power increases are going to be big for PvP, but overall it seems like this game is quite casual friendly, and they do offer daily bonuses, weekly quests, uh, clan quests for weekly and daily basis, like just so many opportunities to get free red diamonds. And like I mentioned earlier with that streamer program, that um, if you guys want to stream this game, every 25 hours, or every week, as long as you stream up to 25 hours, you will actually be getting a $450 in-game retail box that comes with 10,000 red diamonds. So everyone's going to have the option to get at least 10,000 red diamonds for free per week, plus, you know, all your dailies and weeklies. And that's not, like I said earlier, it's not for affiliates and partners. As long as you apply on their website, I'll have to get Charles to, uh, to mention what that website is. Um, you'll be able to link your account to your Twitch, and as long as you stream the game for 25 hours, you'll get that huge retail $450 box. So I think that's really impressive of them. And good for marketing, dude, to allow anyone to have the option of being not necessarily sponsored, but have that option of getting that huge, huge uh, box. So we are running out of runes, dude. I don't think I'm going to be able to figure out how many pages of runes there are. As you guys can see, it's just like just non-stop, dude. Page after page with just so many rune slots. Now, I do have it on auto, and I, I feel like for certain people, you're not going to want to put it on auto here because you're going to want to go for specific things. Like, I probably, as a, a mage, I'm not going to want that physical defense. Or um, let's see what else comes up here. 
we are on accuracy rate and we are failing. So even the rank one runes on this page are starting at a lower success rate than the rank seven runes on page one are, are you know, just close to that. So these are rank one and we're having a 64% chance. So every page is offering substantially harder and harder rune slots here. And it's getting more and more expensive. These rank ones are now 240 runes each and we have already spent almost half a million Adina just on these level one runes. So you see that the end game for this game is incredibly deep, dude. You're gonna need so many runes, you're gonna need so much money, you're gonna need luck, time, just so many things, dude, and so many ways to increase your combat power. Now, fixed damage increase, that probably is gonna be a rune that you wanna continually increase. Critical resistance, critical rates are all gonna be things you want for that, that dark mage. Here we go to page nine. I don't think we're gonna be able to, um... oh, page eight is max, you guys. So we did manage to see um, that there are only eight pages of runes, but Jesus, I mean, I spent 25,000 runes just to get here. Uh, we did max out page one, but page one had the least amount of runes out of any of the pages. So, I mean, it is just gonna take a lot of time and resources in order to fully max out um, we did manage to pick up uh, right there. 